Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video I'm going to show you how to color grade your footage using LUTs. So I just came out with my brand new LUT pack with 21 cinematic LUTs in there. All the links will be available in the description to the demo and what they all do. But if you're confused on what a LUT is, it's short for lookup table. It's basically a file with a bunch of preset data in it that you can apply to your footage or clips with one click and it'll take them from flat or whatever your starting point is and apply a certain amount of transformations to get your final result. So these can be used in Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, programs like DaVinci Resolve, and you can even use them in Final Cut if you have a LUT loading plugin. So I'll leave something like that in the description. But for those of you who've downloaded my LUT pack, I'm gonna show you how to install it, how it comes, and how you can preload them into your Premiere Pro or program so that they're always ready for you to use. So working at the computer now, once you've downloaded the file, you can unzip it and in the folder, you should have the cube files and the 3DL files separated. 3D lookup tables offer a little bit more flexibility and information in color in the programs that can utilize them. However, the cube files are also here because this is the type of file that Premiere Pro will preload into its system. So once you have those wherever you like on your desktop, if you right click on your actual Premiere icon and go to Options, Show in Finder, or find it, the application, wherever it is in your computer, and right click on the actual application, you can show package contents. Inside the package contents folder, you should find another folder called Lumetri, and inside this folder, you should find one called LUTs. Here, you wanna open up the creative section, and this is where you can take whatever cube files you want, so take all of these cube files, and then copy and paste a copy of them into this creative folder. You can see I have mine all pasted here. And then next time you open up Premiere Pro, they should all be in the Lumetri color section under creative in the look dropdown. You can see they're all here preloaded for you. But even if you don't preload them, you can always click browse, find them on your desktop or wherever they're at, and you can use the cube or 3DL files and just double click on any of these to open them as a look. And you can see it's here kind of temporarily. So you can always choose from wherever the file is at on your desktop if you can't preload them. Now that we've gone over opening and installing the LUTs, let's talk about how to use them. So I've got a couple example clips on the timeline and let's just start off from none. Now you wanna shoot as flat as possible in camera if you plan on color grading as best as you can. So if your camera has a flat color profile or one where you don't adjust the contrast and the color too much in camera, you should be able to bring it into Premiere and all of these LUTs will play nicely with no matter what type of footage you have. Of course, the higher quality footage with sharper and more depth of field will allow the colors to really come out in their full potential. However, the best situation for each LUT will vary from footage to footage, depending on the colors in them and the colors in the LUT. So one way we can apply them is just click on the clip to make it highlighted, open up the Lumetri color panel, and in the creative section, just apply the LUT directly onto the clip. So here we'll apply one called Dusky. This is a nice warm dusky tone and you can see what it looks like before and after. It really softens up the image, brings some green into the shadows and some warm colors into the highlights. Now I've made the LUTs so that they should be pretty good right off the bat, but with anything, you do wanna make sure you have the basic correction and exposure adjusted to your liking. So if the exposure was done well in camera, it should look good like this clip here but you can always open up the basic correction section and under the tone, you can lower the exposure to try out what it would look like higher or lower. You can adjust things like the contrast and the highlights and really fine tune the LUT and your clip for the best result. So all of these effects are actually being considered onto the clip before the LUT gets applied and then the LUT gets applied. Additionally, you can go through the rest of the Lumetri color panel adjust things like the fadedness, the saturation, and even add a little vignette if you like at the end. So this is one of my favorites, it's called Dusky, and it really just offers a nice warm tone to any clip. So now let's talk about another way you can apply these adjustments. If you ever highlight the project media bin and go to File, New, Adjustment Layer, this will create a new blank adjustment layer in your project media bin. You can click and drag this onto a track of your timeline and expand it over as many clips or sequences as you like. This is a cool way that you don't have to go to each single clip and apply the corrections. You can just apply one correction on this adjustment layer 
and it'll influence everything underneath it. So for example, let's choose a different creative look this time. Let's choose this one called Boost. So you can see this is what it looks like before and after. And you can also adjust the intensity of the LUTs to make them stronger or weaker depending on how much the clip needs or your taste. So you can put adjustment layers and individual corrections based on clip needs together to chunk out your workflow for the best possible edit. And you can experiment with a variety of different color grading options that I have available in this LUT. You can easily just flip through them here to get a small preview before even applying it. Here's another nice one called Jungle. But basically I've included warm tones, soft tones, contrasted and faded looks, and everything in between for you to combine, play around with, stack, and adjust the basic and further Lumetri corrections to customize it to your liking. So I'll leave a link to the full demo video where I show a before and after of every single effect. And keep in mind that LUTs are pretty universal in many editing programs like Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, and you can even use them in Final Cut with a additional LUT loader plugin that you can find for free online. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and you see how you can use LUTs in your own workflow. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.